low back pain and disc herniation. The spine is composed of vertebrae and in between the vertebrae lies the discs. The discs are cushion which absorb the shock and resist compression. The discs are made of two parts, a tough strong outer layer called the annulus fibrosis and a softer part, gelatinous part, in the middle of the disc. It's called the nucleus bulbosus. Behind the disc lies the spinal nerve root and the group of nerves called the coda equina. So what is the most common type of disc herniation? Actually, there are several types of disc herniation. The protrusion or bulge. A bulge disc will have an intact annulus fibrosis. How about disc herniation? Disruption of the annulus fibers will allow the inner soft gelatinous material from the nucleus bulbosus to escape into the disc space and that's called disc herniation. How about a sequestered disc? A free fragment of the disc is separated and it goes into the disc space. Sometimes this fragment may be reabsorbed spontaneously by itself. What is the typical location for disc herniation? It is the posterolateral aspect of the spine. This is the most typical location. It usually involves the lower nerve root. For example, if you have L4, L5, posterolateral disc herniation, the patient will have symptoms of L5 nerve root, as you can see here in this diagram. And the patient also will have sciatica. Sciatica is usually caused by a disc herniation. What is sciatica? Sciatica is a pain, shooting pain, radiating along the course of the sciatic nerve, which runs from the lower back to the buttock, through the back of the thigh, and into the lower leg and the foot. It usually affects one side of the body. So if you have an L5 nerve root, what kind of symptoms the patient gets in addition to the sciatica? Patient will get decreased sensation at the top of the foot and will also get weakness of extension of the big toe. How about a foraminal disc herniation? It's rare. It's about 8 to 10 percent. It involves the exiting nerve root. For example, L4, L5 will affect L4 nerve root. L4 nerve root will give you decreased sensation in the medial side of the foot and decrease ankle dorsiflexion. These are the two typical locations of nerve root irritation by a disc herniation. The first one is foraminal. The second one is posterolateral. Posterolateral is more common than foraminal. How about a central disc herniation? Well, you don't get a nerve root. You get a, a bunch of nerve roots. You get a group. You get multiple nerve roots affected. The central disc herniation is rare and it causes coda equina. What is coda equina? Coda equina is incontinence of the bladder and the bowel, in addition to low back pain. It predominantly low back pain more than leg pain. You need an urgent MRI, an urgent diagnosis, an urgent treatment. Every time you see a patient with low back pain, ask the patient, if the patient has any bladder or bowel symptoms, it is an emergency if the patient has coda equina. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.